All right, so today I wanna to talk about how to start the steps to start a vending business. So a lot of people do things different ways and that's completely fine, but there's people like me. So I'm an engineer by education and I like steps and processes and order and things like that. So for those of you out there that are like me and who need a little bit of structure to go by to start a business, this is how I recommend that you go um, about doing it. So the first step is you need to figure out what kind of vending machines you want to get. So there's um, full drink machines, there's full snack machines, there's combination where there's snacks at the top, drinks at the bottom. Um, there's even uh, bulk vending machines, which are just, just candy. There's bulk vending machines that have toys. There's game machines. There's um, different types of vending machines, water, um, ice, so first of all, you need to figure that out. Um, you are going to decide what type of vending you get into based on how much money you want to spend. So if you are just maybe trying to dibble and dabble, maybe just have something for extra money, um, but could potentially turn it into a source of income, um, maybe you want to start with bulk vending machines because they're a little bit cheaper. Um, if you have a little bit more cash or you maybe want to even use some credit, um, up to you, but maybe then you can start with some full line drink or snack machines or combo machines. Maybe you completely don't even want to do candy food at all. You want to do like ATMs. So you need to um, determine the budget that you have to get started. That's going to number one, determine what type of machine you can buy. And number two, how many you can buy um, to start. So then after you've determined what type of vending you want to get into. So I uh, am in full line vending. So snacks and drinks. I'm going to look for those locations that want it. So I'm not going to put them in a grocery store or a restaurant where those locations are perfectly fine for other types of vending like ATM and bulk candy vending. Um, but that doesn't necessarily work for food vending because you're in a grocery store or you're in a restaurant and so you already have drinks and food. So that's gonna make more sense. So I'm gonna look for office locations, salons, warehouses, things like that, dealership, places where people are um, there for long periods of, of time without other options. So that's another thing is if, say it's a car dealership, but there's a convenience store right next door or a grocery store or a coffee shop, you may not do that great in that location because they have the option to get up and walk across the street or walk right next door and go have coffee. Third step is to purchase the machine or machines. So it's also a good idea to find more than one location. Say you're gonna start with three machines, you find three locations and then you get them all, all um, established at the same time. The reason I say determine the type of machines you want, find the location and then buy the machine is because there's so many people who buy the machines first and they overpay for the machine and then they don't even have a place to put it once they get the machine. Then they don't know how to get the location and so they give up and then they put their machines on Craigslist or sell them back to the dealer or they sit into and sit in their garage. So if you want to avoid starting a business that you're shutting down immediately and you want some kind of guidelines, this is what I recommend. First, you're going to determine the type of vending um, you want to go into and determine the amount of machines you want to start with. Then you're going to go and you're going to find locations that work with that type of machine that you are planning on purchasing. Once you find the locations for those machines that you want to purchase, then you purchase the machines. Very last step, purchase the machines last. Uh, once you purchase those, go ahead and set up your delivery with the location and the company or the person or wherever you're getting the machines from um, and go ahead and set that up. And trust me, it'll be a lot easier this way. You don't have to worry about buying the machines in advance and having them in your garage or paying for storage fees or even being frustrated and quitting the business because you don't you didn't have anywhere to put the machines in the first place. So if you are a person like me that likes a little bit of structure, I hope that these tips help when you're starting out in the vending industry.